So for the past few weeks, I haven't really found any Hot Wheels new. I only found like maybe three in the stores. But um, since today I went to a toy show, I did buy a, a, a bunch of cars. N not a whole lot. Probably less than the, what I would buy at a flea market. Um, I paid $4 to get in this place. Um, that's the main reason I don't go to it as much. I, I, I end up f finding more stuff at the flea market. And it's free to go in and look at everything. But anyways, um, a couple things this week. Um, uh, this Saturday, the 12th, I think, is Kmart's K-Day. I think it's the last one for the year. And, uh, not sure if they're going to do any more. Um, but there's only at least one store in my area that I can go to. Hopefully that store doesn't go out anytime soon. I think a lot of people bring up this if they're ever going to go out. Um, I think in February or whenever that day was, they asked that and they said they weren't going out. But um, my mom used to look, work at one of the stores and they said the same thing and it went out of business. Um, uh, other thing today is Dollar General uh, also has a sale this weekend. It's actually Thursday through Saturday and, and uh, someone on Instagram posted it. I'm not sure exactly who it was. I think it may have been Diecast Hero. But, um, yeah, so I looked up the ad and it said Thursday and Saturday. So you buy one, you get two free. That's a great deal. Um, I, last year I actually found a super treasure at, at a Dollar General that I don't normally go to. So, anyways, let's, uh, forget to talk for now and we'll look at the stuff I got. Um, I bought this at Walmart. It's a. Uh, BMW R1200 GS motorcycle. It's pretty cool. Um, there's a lot of metal on this. Uh, you got your satchel uh, things. They're all metal. Um, yeah, I think there's a lot of metal in here. Seats, maybe plastic or something. Um, this also has a, a parts warning. That's because the windshield on this falls off. I already had another one like it in red. And the best thing about buying the matchboxes from Walmart, if you're if you're part of the Race Rewards uh, Club that they have, hwracerewards.com, uh, these are worth 600 points, which is a good deal because I think uh, the retro ones, which are six seven bucks, are worth about, around that. A regular Hot Wheels at like a dollar fifty or 150 points. Um, next thing I got, I might even open this on camera is the Volkswagen Transporter Cab. Um, this one a lot of people are liking. It's not really that hard to find. I've found it a bunch of times. Um, the places that have them are like Dollar Trees had a bunch and uh, and Walmart. Um, I got this at Walmart um, and this is the variation. I don't know if there's anything on the back you want to see but we'll open it. So you have two versions of this. One with the junk in the trunk that's what I like to call it. And one without, which is pretty much just the bed. Without this, like, tire and chains and other crap. Dual box, whatever. It's pretty cool. Um, most of the ones I found with the junk in the trunk variation all had damaged blisters. Like, this one was already damaged right here. Yeah. And I, f I bought two that had, I think one, the adhesive was coming off and the other one that was damaged. I think I even found a third one um, that was damaged. I think these are only like maybe one per case. Um, I bought this like maybe last week and I took all the Dodge A100s and these and I put them up front and like a day or so later they were all gone. So these are pretty popular but resale value I think they're gonna be less because I, I kept, I keep finding these and that's usually how I think they're gonna be worth if you find a whole bunch. They're not going to be worth nearly as much. At least not in my area. Um, yeah, some people say they're scarce. Uh, maybe people like them. A lot of people like the Volkswagens. Um, they're kind of okay. Um, may even buy this eventually in a different color if it comes out. Um, uh, anyways, going to the next thing. This is the Track Day Car Culture Series. I bought this from Target. Um, that's in Bluebird 510. Main reason I buy... The Datsuns is because they always go out. A lot of people end up buying them and then reselling them and screwing them over. Um, I think the ones that they had at uh, Target all had a damaged blister, as you can see. Um, there were two of them at least there. 
Um, I looked at these other cars. They're not nothing really special, other than that they're all rubber and metal stuff. But nothing. This is probably the only one that I would buy. They look okay, but for three bucks, eh, I'd rather just buy the regular plastic one. So those are the regular Hot Wheels I bought during the week. But I also bought um, this this little metal case. It's actually a uh, what is it? A pencil box for kids, and it's a Ghostbusters one. Um, these came out because of the movie. Um, they probably won't even release them next year. And it came with a bunch of freebies. Um, it says over 25 value inside. Um, you get a movie, the first movie, which I actually own a, a copy on DVD. You also get the real Ghostbusters animated episodes on digital. $5 movie ticket offer that I probably can't redeem anymore. <clears throat> and I think there's a $5 off the... Uh, new one if you pre-order but the thing is the pre-order is like $25.99 it's already out I think and it probably wouldn't even be worth doing that because it, you, you could probably buy it in the store for like 20 bucks without the coupon anyways we'll take a look it doesn't have like a handle like some of these other boxes they're pretty cool um I only paid a dollar for this it wasn't that much I'm not sure the original price this may have been like 10 bucks or something I'll show you what side. Um, I had two things inside. One thing was actually, actually came with it. You get this little card, and this actually has the codes on back um, for the movie and stuff, which I won't show. It's probably deactivated anyways because I already uh, uh, redeemed it. Anyways, this is also something else that I bought like a week ago. It's a Matchbox. It's a. Let me see exactly what it is. Uh, oh, BMW Z8. I paid a good price for this. I bought it at a thrift shop, and it was five cents. Great condition. Um, no dings, chips, or anything. Maybe a few, but not that bad. Almost looks like it was rarely played with. But that's pretty much it with the stuff that I kind of found this week. Um, so the stuff that I found today, which was Sunday, this toy show I got next. I'm going to start off with the first thing, which is not a Hot Wheel though. Um, Speed Racer, and it's a Johnny Lightning. I paid five bucks for this. Um, I think it was probably worth five bucks. Um, Johnny Lightnings are like five ninety nine new now. So I assume it's worth it. And I can't, I grew up watching Speed Racer as a kid. Uh, Cartoon Network, I think, aired these late at night. Um, I think the tires are rubber and it's all metal. Uh, Hot Wheels did make one, but it was plastic, which sucked about it. Um, I, I'm not sure if I'm going to open it. I was thinking of opening it, maybe. Card art's pretty much okay. I don't know if this is valuable as much. Really that bad. Sometimes I always look at the value online to see if it's more than what I originally paid. But I may put keep this card because of how much I paid for it. Um... Next thing, the rest are going to be all dollar cars. Oh, and at this toy convention, they also had those Ghostbuster cars, the retro ones, and they lowered their price now. Um, you can get the two pack, someone is selling them for six bucks. If I waited, I probably would have gotten a good deal. They're still in stores too, so even if I did wait, I could always get one if I, I didn't find one cheap enough. But, anyways, this is a Ferrari F50. Pretty cool. I like the red color. Um, usually red, I think, is more known with Ferraris a lot. And today, in real life, I actually saw a Lamborghini, a black one, when I was coming home from this toy convention. Couldn't grab a picture because it was zooming past. Let's see. Official licensed product. I don't know what that sticker's about. Okay, so we move on to the next car. 57 Chevy. Right? It says Turbo Taxi Series. Yeah, it says 57. Pretty cool. I collect the 57 Chevys. It's a metal body with a plastic base. I think the engine is metal on this. And it's from 2001. It's back. Um, next is a Talabot Lago in black. Pretty nice. All metal, which makes it even nicer. 
I'm not sure exactly what year this is from. This is probably the early 90s. Um, next thing I got is a uh, 59 Caddy. I like the tail fins on these. Pretty cool. Glow and Cool series. Here's the back if you need to see that. Um, next one, Dodge RT10. It says it's a new model. Pretty cool. This was one of my favorite castings as a kid. I had the yellow version. Um, next one is the Speed... Uh, it's, I don't know why. It's from the Speed Spray se series, but I think this one's called Street Rider. Yeah. yeah. A lot of times, I think the newer cars, they don't put like the series prominent as much as... Um, they do because as you can see you probably can tell right away what this car was you just see that I think now the the name of the vehicle is more prominent than the series Anyways, um, this is all metal I'm not sure if this is even real it says off-road mud monster well, this had two names but it's pretty cool um, next thing I got it's the uh, Fast Cash. This was released again this year. And it's the Money Clip car. I may do a video about it. Um, it does have information, so I may do a video by itself. Yeah. Usually, when I do a, a video on a specific car, I always look for the ones that have the information on the back. That way I don't have to look up stuff and take a long time to do it. Anyways, um, next car. This one I think I have, but I don't think I had it new. Um, I always like, like a lot of times I like getting them, uh, in the package because that way if there was damage on the ones that I bought used, I always have a good one. Well, a lot of times I end up opening them and just sell the old one because the other one I bought and uh, I bought it used. And this thing's all metal with the opening hood. If you can see that. Yeah, it opens. And I'm not sure if this is made at all anymore. It says moving parts right there. Um, next thing. Um, 1936 cord. Which is a, a nice green color. It says $2 on it, but I only paid a dollar. I think the guy at this booth, he buys like cases of stuff from people that don't want them anymore or something. Or they don't want to sell them much anymore. Because uh, this guy always seems to talk like a... Uh, he buys and sells cases of these. Um, this is from 2000. Pretty nice. And the last one. I'm not sure if this is the one that's not made anymore. It's the... Uh, Dodge Daytona Charger. Now there were two Chargers. Um, 69 and a 70. I think the 70 one was discontinued because it was the wrong year or something. Anyways, it's pretty nice. And this is a casting I collect. And this is from 2001. And uh, that's pretty much about it. Um, like I said, uh, as a reminder, a Dollar General has a sale. So it's you buy one, you get two free, which is the greatest deal you can ever get for Hot Wheels. Um, other than getting it free or something. Um, and uh, t this weekend, this Saturday coming up, is also K-Day. Um, which is a good day to go if you if there's some cars that you may be missing uh, uh, last year um, I went to K-Day and I got a Dodge Daytona that I was looking for all over for and I found it there so you know if, you, if you're not the first one picked you might find something that you were missing because th they have a limit on how many cars you can pick at a time and that limit is around five um, I don't think you were able to order the cases online because I wanted to do that for the last one and I couldn't. I, well, they were up there, but they said they were sold out and they didn't have any listed on the Kmart site. But um, that's pretty much it for this week. Um, you can like, share, comment, subscribe, and have a nice day.